Benicio Ponder, founder of InspirationalAuthors.com, bringing you another episode of the Divine Direction author interview series. As you know by now, Divine Direction is a collaboration between 22 authors where they were sharing their inspirational stories of hope, healing, breakthrough, and transformation. This book <laughs> has been changing lives and not just the lives of the readers. It's changed my life. And as I've been talking to some of the co-authors, it's also changed their lives as well. And so I'm excited to bring to you some of the amazing authors that contributed to this powerhouse book so that you can get some insight into what they're up to, what's happening with them. And hopefully it will give you some encouragement and inspiration to share your stories as well. Today, I have with me Cheryl Graham, who is a phenomenal, phenomenal person. She is doing so much in this world. And I, I'm not going to steal her thunder because I want her to tell you <laughs> about who she is and what she's up to. So Cheryl, welcome, welcome, welcome to this author interview series. Thank you so much, Benicia, and I appreciate you for um, having this podcast and letting our voices be heard other than reading the book that people get to hear what we have to say. So I appreciate yes. you. Yes, absolutely. So tell our community who you are and what are some of the things you're up to these days? Wow. So I am a nurse by trade. I've been a nurse for 27 years. Um, and I love every moment. I've recently transitioned within the last three years to do um, wellness. And that's where my passion lies because I love for people to feel well on the inside. Everything starts here in the mind. And so we work our way throughout our body. And then on the outside, it's like a flower. We feed it, we nourish it, uh, we give it sunlight. And so what we see on the outside is the flourishing. So that's where I am in my life right now. And I love it because for me, it was a transformation. It was like the caterpillar to the butterfly stage. So that's where I am. That's what I do. And who I am as a person, I love to bring joy, happiness to someone. And people might ask, like, how do you do that? It's just by learning how to feed into yourself and give of those things that you have within and knock out those things that are blocking us so we can show who our real selves are. And so that's me. That's who you're going to get. Yes. <laughs> I love it. And before we hopped on to the live recording, you mentioned that you changed your name on Facebook to Vibe with Cheryl. Tell us about that because I found that really interesting. Oh, well, thank you. And I did that on Instagram. I have to do it on Facebook as well, but I did okay. it. Uh, my accountability partner, and I have been working on some things with our businesses and I like acronyms and I thought about the vibe we were doing morning mastery. And so mm -hmm. I said, the vibe. And I, then I thought about visualize yourself better every day or, and, or verbalize yourself better every day, because we know the power is in the tongue and what we think. So if we put that together, that's where I am with this and helping people because we have to visualize, we have to speak those things into existence, those which are not. And so that's where it came from. Just visualize or verbalize yourself better every day. And as we work on these things every day, it's that slight edge and that momentum we build that we are going to surpass and become who we are truly meant to be. And so it just, I guess it was God went on my heart, changed that name. And I did. I just went ahead and did it. And I changed it to Vibe with Cheryl. Yeah, I love that because, you know, you mentioned going from the caterpillar to the butterfly, that transformation. And a lot of times when we go through a transformation experience, then we kind of have more detail and more clarity about what God is moving us into. Again, that divine, divine direction that God brings into our lives to help us on our journey. And it's not just for us, it's for others as well, because as you were speaking, I, all I saw was people vibing, right, a, about really visualizing and being then able to verbalize and vocalize 
that vision to make themselves better every day. So how important, because we use a lot of V words, so visualize, <laughs> vocalize, verbalize, but how is it? how important is it for that visualization to happen first if you want to be better every day? Because you have to see it. You have to see past what's in front of us, look beyond and visualize how you want to be. Um, it's so important. I've been reading a book besides our book. Um, oh my God, the power of the um, subconscious mind and of your subconscious mind it has been an amazing enlightenment in addition to what we have, because it talks about visualization and seeing yourself where you want to be, despite all the obstacles we have around us, because that is life. Just visualize those things. And as you visualize, the subconscious doesn't know what's true, what's really happening. So we can train our minds to get these things that we want. And so that visualization has helped. And then verbalizing it, just speaking as if I'm already where I want to be and teaching others visual, speak where you want to be and see where it's going to lead you because it's going to guide your, um, it's going to guide your thought. It's going to guide your actions and everything else in between. And so that's how it really helped. It really helped. And it stemmed from the book. It really did stem from the book, Divine Direction, because I just thought it's God. It's God is leading and I'm open to what his suggestions are. And I want to go the way in which he directs me. Yeah. Awesome. So you mentioned that you're doing um, wellness, helping people to be healthier. What are some of the things that you're you're helping people to do in that arena? So we have to realize as a people, we, um, what we're feeding ourselves with, and that can be through reading, hearing, um, nutrition and everything. And most of it starts within the gut. So my focus is on nutrition and getting us to a healthier state using, uh, more plant-based foods, um, more, uh, nutrients, more supplements, because our world is not like it is before. Um, our grandparents live to be older because they had a healthier soil to grow their food mm -hmm. we have all the sides the pesticides the herbicides mm -hmm. um the fillers the different things that are are invading our foods and we're not where we need to be so it's impeding a lot of things that we need for us to be able to flourish so being able to get people to understand let's let's start somewhere within the gut feed your body and then it's going to start there because as you feed your body you're feeding your mind your spirit your soul emotional wellness, everything starts to come from that. And then here you are at a different state. And so for me, I realized that I had to do that because I was once in that state before I didn't know I wasn't taught that. And so now to be able to be a walking testimony and utilize what I'm already doing and then share it with others, it makes such a difference. Yeah. It does. It yes. does. I, you, you said what you feed, what you feed your body. Um, is so important. And I, I definitely agree with it. Your mind, your body, your spirit, what you put into it is going to show up on the outside. And a lot of people uh, do these, I've seen so many people do these trending workout plans or nutrition plans and all of these things, but there's no change in their lifestyle. How, do, how does someone begin to make that change into a true transformation instead of just making it like, for 30 days or 45 days or 75 days, but really making it a lifestyle change? Well, you know, it's baby steps. We can't go from zero to a hundred real quick. No problem. <laughs> Great, but we can't, you know, we have to take those baby steps. Martin Luther King said one step at a time, you can get to the, the whole top of the staircase, right? I mean, I'm summarizing what he said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we have to take those baby steps because if we try to do too much at one time, it's going to deter us. I, you know, I know for a fact, it's going to deter us because we are not used to making those, all those changes at once. So if we can start with one thing, maybe waking up earlier in the morning, maybe adding a gratitude journal, um, step by step. So maybe it'll take you a week to do it. It could take you a month to do it as long as you're adding these steps and they say what 21 days towards a habit and it takes 90 days to create a lifestyle. So that's a three month span. So from three weeks to a three month span, we can develop those changes we need to be. And I call it healthy habits. Uh, and so those healthy habits can develop into that lifestyle we're looking for. And you will see a change. You will see a change. Mm, I love yeah. that. 
it, so it's a process. It's not just like, I'm going to do this for right now, but it's definitely a process. And sometimes I know for, for myself, ooh, excuse me, myself personally, I have set out for quote unquote transformation journeys before. And I, I, try to eat the elephant whole, if you will, <laughs> you know, I tried to like just do it all. And in those times I have found that, um, it's harder. I, I tend to give up quicker and the change that I do make is not sustained. But when I take my time step by step and make adjustments along the way, because we don't always get it right the first time. It's, yeah. We have to make those adjustments. But when I do that, then you're right. I do find that the transformation is sustainable and I can rebuild lifelong habits that will benefit me. So, yes, yes I oh definitely agree with that. <laughs> I, I just look at babies. You know, I never really looked at it until it was plastered in my face. Like we see how babies start to stand up and they'll fall back down, yeah. but they don't stop because they have to get to they walking. Can't. It's in our nature for us to start walking and then we're going to start running, but it starts with taking those steps. So that's it. Yes, I, I love it, love it, love it. So we mentioned before at the beginning that you are a co-author in Divine Direction. How was that experience for you? Oh my gosh, it's been amazing. I um, When you reached out to me about that, I never envisioned doing this at all. Um, but it was such a rewarding experience because it allowed me to be vulnerable and give my story out. And I had to take myself out of the equation because sometimes we don't want anybody to know our truth. But I had to share my truth because it could be somebody else going through the same thing. And so throughout that and just sharing what I went through and where I am, it just relieved some of the things that I was feeling. You know, I felt a little bogged down and that was probably my time to just let it all out and let people know the truth, my truth. And I feel so good. Um, after doing that, it was just eye opening. And just reading other people's stories and where they were, where they are now, and how they had to make uh, those changes to get to the levels they are. So it just created that vulnerability. It made me more aware of who I was, who is Cheryl. And so it just opened up that avenue for me to think even more like, who am I as a person? And I really appreciate you for being that catalyst. Like I said, you were the catalyst to make me think about the vibe with Cheryl and, and doing these different things. And so it's led to me opening up different avenues. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. Yes, yes. I I often marvel at how, we, we're using this word transformation a lot, but how transformative sharing your story can be for, you, for, for yourself. Um, because of course, you know, the story is about you, it's for the reader, to, to get to know you, um, to be inspired and encouraged. But the writing process has such amazing benefits because you are able to work through things. You are, you are able to see the other side of a story. And some of the stories that were shared were stories that were very difficult to mm -hmm. share. Um, and, and it's just like when you realize, hey, I'm on the other side of that. <laughs> Like I went through that. I went through that and I'm here. It's, it's just so, so amazing. So I appreciate you opening up your heart and I appreciate you sharing your story because it's blessed me. It's blessed so many readers. I read the testimonies and the reviews and I know, I know that because you shared your story, somebody else's life has changed. So Cheryl, what, what would you say to somebody? Because there are people in our community who have amazing stories inside of them. What would you say to someone who is on the fence, who like has that story inside of them, but they're like, I don't know if I want to share it. What would you say to them? I would say, uh, as people say, there's a girl I'm in a morning meetup group with. She calls her, uh, excuse me, her uh, business is called do it ugly do it mm. ugly do it afraid just do it because I was there on that fence teeter-tottering and that just starts to work with your soul like it keeps on you keep on getting this nudge to go ahead and do it do it ugly do it ugly do it afraid just do it 
And I know that may sound cliche, but it's not because it's so freeing. It's very freeing to get that story out. And remember, we have to put ourselves aside because it's for the greater humanity. Who, who do we know? We don't know who it's going to affect, whose life it's going to change, and who down the line is going to make a difference in our world. We all want to be some, we all want to change in some form of fashion. So who could it help? And so that's how I would say, if you can get past that moment of yourself and keeping it because we have those gifts, talents, and abilities to share, it could be something that sparks somebody else in our world that needs it, especially the young kids. I mean, we got to think about those in our future. They're going to be taking care of us. So (laughs) do it, do it. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Cheryl, I think that applies to not only you know, sharing your story, but everything in life. Sometimes you do have to do it ugly. You have yes. to do it before before you think it's perfect. Because as you take those steps, you mentioned that quote from Dr. Dr. King, when you take that first step, then the next step is going to appear after yes. you take that first step. But if you don't ever take a step, if you don't ever start the journey, you'll never meet those people that are there to help you. You'll never reach those doors of opportunity that are going to be open for you because you've never even took the first step. So I thank you for sharing that wisdom with us, Cheryl. I thank you for for sharing your story. Are there any final words or anything you want to leave with our community before we wrap up? Um, Well, I just want to say if, you know, we just, we ended with that question. I really want to impound upon people. Go ahead and do it. Just do it. Um, I, like I said, I was, I had to let, get myself out of the way to be able to share. And it made such a difference in my life. I feel healthier. I feel more vibrant in the inside because I let that, I detox myself. Let's just go there. <laughs> Detoxing ourselves from the negativity and pushing those things aside that are holding us back. So that's my final word. Let go, let God, let him lead you. And if you're on the fence, He's going to pull you towards where you need to be and let him pull you because he has so much in store. We don't see everything. He gives us glimpses of things. So it's exciting to know that there's greater waiting for us if we decide to take those steps. And if we decide to take that nudge that he's given us, the door is open for us. So that's what I want to say. That's what I want to say. I love it. I love it. So there's nothing else I can say because that's it. Right? That is it. Make sure that if you have not already picked up Divine Direction or if you have not already bought multiple copies for your yes. friends and family, <laughs> go ahead and do that. You can go over to inspirationaldevotionals.com. That's inspirationaldevotionals.com. There you can get a copy of the book and you can find out more about Cheryl and all of the other co-authors that contributed to this amazing project. Cheryl, thank you so much you. for being here, for allowing us to speak to you and allow me to introduce you even more to our community. And for those of you who are catching this interview series make sure that if this is your first time go back and watch the others and stay tuned for the rest of them to come again i am benicia ponder from inspirationalauthors.com and i am wishing you a life full of purpose prosperity and god's divine direction for you remember you are indeed the light of the world and it's time for you to let your light shine Bye-bye. bye bye